afternoon beautiful people. I hope you're having a great day today. Alrighty, today we're doing shepherd's pie and we're going to smash straight into it. So grab yourself some spuds, potatoes, and um, peel them and cut them and start boiling them so you can make a big pot of mash up. We need a kilo of mince, beef mince. I've got three, I'll class them as small carrots. Now you need garlic. I'm just using the, the minced garlic from the jar, but if you've got fresh garlic, maybe crush up a couple of cloves. We need salt, onion. We need Worcestershire sauce. Oh yeah, Worcestershire, mate. All right, we need thyme and rosemary. We need tomato paste. My secret ingredient, tomato sauce. Chicken stock. Now, if you don't have chicken stock, don't panic. You can absolutely use water and it'll be fine. And also optional is some red wine. It doesn't matter if you use it or not. I've grated the carrot and I've chopped the onion up into small little pieces. Now with the onion, I've got a little tiny handful out and I've put that aside because I put that in my mashed potato. Absolutely optional. But yeah, just get a little handful of onion and put it aside for your mash. Now once you've done all that, you're prepared and ready. To, we're ready to start cooking. Our spuds are halfway done. So at this stage, you want to get yourself an oven tray, all right, and put it aside. And you want to put your oven on, preheat your oven at 190 degrees Celsius. So get that cranking now so it'll be ready when we throw it all together. So if you've got everything together, ready to go, um, this is so fun. I love making this. All right, a little bit of olive oil. In with your mince. Break it all down. Now once you're breaking it all down, salt. All right, we just want to brown it all. Flip it over once. One more salt. Onion. Get your garlic. Heat teaspoon is like a clove, I reckon. So two heat teaspoons. Mix it in. Once your garlic's in, carrot. Mix it in, once your carrots in. Whisty, Worcestershire sauce. I'll just do a sprinkle over the whole thing. Time. I'll just do an even little sprinkle over the whole thing. Now, if you're using fresh thyme, don't use too much, it's pretty strong. All right, so you just want to like an even little sprinkle over it all. Same with the rosemary. Now rosemary is a lot stronger, so if you're using fresh rosemary, just use a little bit. But I just do an even little sprinkle, covering the whole thing. Tomato paste. Four squirts. Squirt, 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 squirt. Four squirts in the corners. Tomato sauce. Now the reason I use tomato sauce is because it's packed with sugar. And um, it makes it a sweet one and the kids love it. So I'll do an even sprinkle over the whole thing. Now your wine, you need to cook it out for a minute. So you want to put it in now. Now if you use wine, oh, I can get it open. I use the tiniest bit. I'm not too keen on wine to be honest. All right, so I don't use much at all. It's so strong, but it is really nice and it's a real deep, deep, deep sort of taste if you do use it. So you want to cook that out for a couple of minutes so the wine cooks out. So just keep it going, mix it all in. Oh, it smells amazing already. Been two minutes and I've cooked the wine out. Now we've done that and it's starting to see it get a little bit drier. Now we get our chicken stock or water if you've only got it. Just a little bit. I want to cook it off for about five minutes. So just a little sprinkle over it all. 
or water, mix it in, see how we're going here. I want it a little bit like wet and juicy so I can simmer it for five or ten minutes just to get all these flavours really in there. So that's not too bad, I'm going to turn it down a bit, get it on simmer not. And I'm just going to put a tiny little bit more in. You'll work it out. If you put too much in, just cook it out a little bit longer until it gets thicker, alright? In the end, we don't want any juice. We want it just to have no juice. So you want it nice and moorish still, but you don't want it wet and soggy. Alright, so now we'll just cook this out on a simmer. I like doing it for about 10 minutes because it... Now, it's all by look, smell and taste. And I can tell you now, it's not quite dark red enough for me. So I'm going to go again with two more squirts and I mean like, alright, two more squirts of tomato paste. So you just do this as you go through and another squirt of sauce, tomato sauce, your favourite tomato sauce. Now where's my spoon going? Alright, that's better. I want to get that nice dark brown but the tinge of red in it. Kids love it. They love it with the tomato sauce in it. It does. It throws the whole flavour. Alright, now it's still too high. These electric ones are tricky. Alright, so take it down. Alright, now let it simmer. Stir it every couple of minutes for about 10 minutes, alright? Alright, we're done. So it's nice and moist, okay, because you don't want it dry, but when you go like that, you haven't got any liquid in the bottom, okay? That's exactly how you want it. Go like that, no liquid, beautiful. Get your oven dish and start piling it in. Yum, this kitchen smells awesome. Okay, once we've got that in there, I bet you can't even just see how beautiful that is with these lights. Alright, put it all down, flatten it out a bit. Oh, how quick and easy was that? Oh, more yum. Alright, now we put that aside while we do our mash. Alrighty, mash spuds. Let's do this. Lots of salt and pepper. One thing I do like to put salt in, if you've probably noticed that I put salt in many things. Mashed potato, salt. Lots of pepper. Alright, tonight I'm using butter. I've just cut little cubes. But um, you can use margarine if you don't have butter. I use that most of the time anyway. Alright, I like to use a dash of cream. Now, if you don't have any of this, simple mashed potato is potato, butter or margarine, milk and salt and pepper, okay? If you've got all the rest, add it in because it just tastes amazing. A little dash of that. A little dash of milk. Now remember, less is best when it comes to the milk. If you make runny mashed potato, you can't come back from it. But if you make it too thick, you can always add more things to it and make it thinner. Alright, sprinkle in your onion, if you like it. And parmesan cheese. Alright, with the parmy, it's up to you how much you put in. Oh yeah, I've got to go there. And I'm going to put a little bit on top as well, remember. Alright, and mash it all up. Oh, that mashed potato is amazing. Okay, just spoon it all in. Just chunks over it. Oh my God, mate, you make your mashed potato like that. Oh, <laughs> that onion in it and the cream and that, it is stunning. All right, get your fork. As you can see, I've got piles of it because I love mashed potato and it's really filling. Kids love it. This will feed six adults. Alright, and just fork it all in, get it all flattened down, then take the fat bits over where it's needed. Yum! Oh my gosh, it's just mad. I love it all like that when you, because you can, I'll show you why. Alright, once that's done, get your palmy and you sprinkle that baby. Oh, <laughs> love cooking. Alright. Everyone's like, oh, a little bit. Nah, man. Get that stuff on there. Get it all in the little holes where it's going to melt in there and be beautiful. All right, little as less as you like, okay? 
I'm probably not a good role model when it comes to healthy. All right, now that's done, we're gonna whack it in our preheated oven that we've got going at 190 degrees Celsius. And I will let you know in a few seconds exactly how long it took, all right? Check this beauty out, my friends. 40 minutes it took. Look at that beautiful golden brown top. Oh, it's so good. All right, a little bit at a time so you can build it up and make it look nice. A little bit bigger one. And then one more, you want to get some mince for the layer. Yum. Oh yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Now if you want to make it look a little bit nicer, because at the end of the day, Shepherd's pie is shepherd's pie. Just whack a little bit of fresh parsley on there, which I'm going to do. Look at that. Hope you can see. You can't even see so good. Oh, it's beautiful. Hey, yum. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Have yourselves an awesome night, and I'll catch you real soon with something else. Bye.